Hello, I am Games Are Things, or GAT for short. This is the first video in my Dark Souls Remastered Road to Platinum series. The progression trophies, as I am calling them, are those you would get doing the main quest and beating the game along with two bonus bosses. Timestamps in the description. The Enkindled Trophy is gained the first time you light a bonfire. Any should do. I will just light the first one here. The Estus Flask Trophy is received upon obtaining the item of the same name. Activate the boulder trap to open the room Oscar is in. Talk to him or kill him. He doesn't put up much of a fight. To reach Lordran, kill the Asylum Demon, who will drop the key to allow you to leave. Ascend to the top. This activates a cutscene that transport you to Firelink Shrine in Lordran. You will receive the trophy then. To ring the bell above the undead church, ascend to the top past the channeler and kill the two gargoyles. At the top of the tower is a lever. Pull it to ring the bell. To ring the bell in Kalog's domain, descend to the bottom of Blight Town past the swamp, kill Chaos Witch Kayla. Behind her is a lever for the second bell. The Rite of Kindling is attained by killing Pinwheel at the bottom of the catacombs. I summoned Leroy to take care of the Bonewheel skeletons for me. I kept him for the boss because Pinwheel needs all the health he can get. For the Art of Abyss Walking Trophy, you will need the Covenant of Artorius Ring. Kill the Great Grey Wolf Seat to get it. The easiest way here is to purchase the Crest of Artorias for 20,000 gold from Blacksmith Andre. Otherwise, you'll have to climb the waterfall behind the Hydra and Dark Root Basin and deal with the cats. To reach Anna Orlando, kill the Iron Golem atop Sen's Fortress. An Elden Ring will appear in the middle of the arena, interact with it to be transported to Anna Orlando. I heard for some people the trophy does not pop if you do not watch the whole cutscene. You can always return to Sen's Fortress and touch the ring again to replay the cutscene if needed. To get the Lord Vessel, kill Ornstein and Smo. Ascend the elevator and talk to Princess Guinevere or kill her. Remember to use both hands. Defeat Seath the Scaleless. 
Just as the trophy name says, you will need to destroy the crystal in the back in order to damage him. Standing next to it will be a later attack destroying him. This will stun him and give you time for free attacks. The Bed of Chaos is the worst designed boss in the game. Bust her two balls to open her up so you can go inside. Thankfully, your progress is saved in between deaths. So many deaths. Gravelord Nito acts as a necromancer for his skeletal minions. They will revive unless he is killed, or if they are killed by a divine weapon. Stay in the front of the area as larger skeletons lurk in the back. The Four Kings is the only Lord Soul boss you are able to fight without placing the Lord Vessel below Firelink. You will need the Crest of Atorius equipped to even survive the arena. Enjoy the DPS race. To get to Priscilla, you will first need to get to the Peculiar Doll upon revisiting the Asylum. Take it to the bottom of the Cathedral in Anna Orlando to enter the Painted World. Make your way down to the well to open the door to cross free Priscilla. I'm sorry, Vatty. Dark Sun Gwendolyn can either be unlocked by killing Guinevere or obtaining the Dark Moon Seance Ring in the Catacombs. Wearing the ring in this room will reveal the boss bomb gate. To link the fire, simply kill Gwen and light the bonfire in the middle of the room. This is considered the good ending amongst the normies. For the Dark Lord ending, simply leave after killing Gwyn. Thy 
Hey, thanks for watching the video. I'm still pretty new to this whole YouTube thing and video editing in general. This is actually my first video with audio, so if you guys have any suggestions, things that you notice need to be improved, critiques, something like that, please let me know and I'll try and figure it out sooner rather than later. Alright, thanks and have a good one.